Good evening, everyone. My name is Mary Curtin. I'm a PhD student here in the University of Limerick, examining female farm ownership. When you hear the word farmer, who do you picture? Do you picture me? Farming is one of the oldest occupations in the world. Generations of men and women have worked the land. However, the legal ownership of land is heavily male dominated. The most recent statistics tell us that females represent just 12% of Irish landowners, with males representing 88%. Women generally do not own the land they work on. Instead, they are farming land that is owned by their husband, brother, or father. Of the 71,700 females working on Irish farms today, less than a quarter are owners of the farms on which they work. My thesis centres on why farming has lagged behind other occupations in terms of gender balance. Why in 2022 is farming still so heavily male dominated? The aim of my research question is to examine and answer the question, why is the rate of female farm ownership so low? What are the barriers and the enablers? Specific objectives include a review of cultural and social barriers, a review of financial and legal barriers, and identification of international best practices on equality in farm ownership. Reviewing the legal position of the non-owning farming female has set the stage for the rest of my research. I have examined different scenarios such as debt, divorce, and where a creditor is involved. Can legal reform help the position of the non-owning farming female? Yes. To comprehensively answer my research question, I have implied a mixed method approach. Through interviews and a national survey, I have gathered information about men and women's experiences and perceptions of farming in Ireland. And it seems that it is the surname that is the pervasive issue in the farming community and the primary reason for choosing a son over a daughter, not interest or ability. I have supervisors from both the Kemi Business School and the School of Law, meaning that this interdisciplinary research can draw on knowledge from both areas to produce comprehensive recommendations to affect change in national policy, which I have already begun to do by working in collaboration with the lead policy group in the area, the newly founded Women in Agriculture Stakeholders Group. Together, we have just conducted the first national inclusivity survey. Our findings have highlighted that while patriarchy is still having an unfortunate impact on Irish farming, positive change is happening, especially with the younger generation of farmers. The importance of this thesis is its impact on our understanding of land, of family, of who matters, who is valued, and who is recognised. The hope is that the contribution of females working on Irish farms is recognised in the ownership of that land, and that the decision on who to pass the farm onto is based on interest and ability, not gender. Thank you.